Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by TaylorMade. The last time, Gary, we saw Tiger, he was going 3-0 and as a winning, playing President's Cup captain. Yeah, it was a heck of a week, considering he had all the responsibilities that he had. He said it was such a busy week, and our Lisa Cornwell, who was out at the Farmers Insurance Open, had a chance to sit down with him earlier today. Lots happened in your uh, sort of off-season. You got to celebrate it. Last time we heard from you, yeah. it was sort of reflecting on what happened in Australia, but now you've had a little time to think about it. Where do you think that week will rank to you among all the things you've accomplished? The busiest week I think I've ever had. <laughs> it was a lot. Oh my God, my, my brain, my brain hurts just thinking about it. Um, the, okay, the, being a vice captain, I could do. Being a captain, I could do. Being a player, I could do. Um, but not being a, a playing captain and all those uh, uh, trying to manage, you know, the, all the different scenarios that are being played out. Meanwhile, maintaining my feel for a golf course and the changes and understanding shots and placement and hole locations and um, where's the wind coming off of tomorrow. So, okay, that's, that tee shot will be there. Okay, and figuring all that, okay, like, these guys need to play, these guys need to play. Oh, my, my brain was on <laughs> nonstop. Um, it ended up being a lot, but God, it was worth it. What was the celebration like with the guys? Crazy, crazy. We just, we just went to town, and uh, it, was, it was good to see those guys all rally one, around one another like that and just celebrate uh, all the players and everyone who was part of the team celebrating just having a great time and and just I just didn't want them to feel what some of us felt in 98 when they, who were there and lost and listening to them cheer because we we kind of heard it could have gone one nine at one one point um, we were looking very badly and then we flipped it on them and all of a sudden we made it we made it a ball game and by making it a ball game um, it got the it got the crowd to quiet down a little bit when I saw you in the Bahamas, I, I tried to nudge you on 2020. You said, no, nope, Lisa, I'm not going there yet. I have yep. Hero, I have the President's Cup. But now all that's kind of uh, behind you, and you can focus on 2020 right. and 83 and the majors, and you know, you're gonna get asked a thousand mm -hmm. times about it. How important is this week for you, do you think, to get off to a fast start at a golf course that you've had a lot of success on? I think it's just, I, like every year, I'm, I wanna win here. Um, but in the back of my mind, I'm, I'm trying to get everything ready for April and making sure I check all the boxes and everything's right going into that week. Um, I did it last year. I progressively got a little bit better as the, as the year went on, tournament went on. I uh, cleaned up some of my rounds. I started missing the ball correctly. I started hitting shape and shots that I will need for that, for that week. And lo and behold, caught lightning in a bottle. And so... Uh, hopefully it starts this week with a win and I can build from there. I don't think I've ever heard you talk about, and you said managing adrenaline. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it, you can watch any athlete, right? And you can tell when he or she is high and low and, and out there, but just explain that a little bit more. Like, how do you, how do you kind of know in the moment that I really have to get a grasp and what do you do? Do you talk to Joe? What, what do you do? <clears throat> Normally I just like to quiet down and just calm down just the entire system. Um, I feel a lot of times because of my track and cross country background that you're revved up as high as you possibly can, but you're relaxed at the line, but you're redlining it. And then gun goes off and then off you go. Well, in golf, it's not exactly like that. You want to be redlined. Um, so that's one of the things that I've, I have always struggled with is that I've always had that type of mentality. Um, but figuring it out, I've, I've done a good job over the course of my career figuring it out. But there are days when, yeah, it gets me a little, a little too much and I want to compete too much. Um, I love competing. It's, it's my rush and I, I get a chance to do it. And I man, I can't wait to go out there and play 18 holes and play against the best players in the world. And if that doesn't get you jacked up, then nothing will.